this video we're going to have a look at percentage increase and decrease. Suppose the cost of a product is going to increase by a certain percentage and you want to calculate the new increased price, such as increasing $80 by 5%. First of all, we need to find 5% of $80. 5% is 5 over 100 times 80 and using some cancelling dividing by a common factor of 10 we have 40 over 10 which is $4. So the increase is $4 but the increased amount equals the original amount plus the increase which in this case was $80 plus the $4 increase being $84. Another way to consider this problem is multiplying $80 by 105%, that is the original 100% plus the 5% increase. That would look like 80 times 105 over 100 and using some cancelling, we could go 10, 10, 840 over 10, which is the $84, which is the same uh, result. So this was increasing or multiplying by 105% rather than finding the 5% and adding on to the original. Now suppose the cost of a product did increase by a certain amount and you want to calculate the percentage increase. For example, $80 increasing to $90. The increase equals 90, take away the original 80, which is $10. Now the percentage increase equals the increase over the original amount times 100%. Here the increase was $10 and the original was 80 times 100%. Using some cancelling, dividing by 10, dividing by 10, I have 100 over 8, which simplifies to 12 and 1 half percent. Percentage increases are often seen and used to describe sales, profits, house prices and population growths. Percentage decrease. Suppose a store is having a sale with percent reduction or a discount on all products. Suppose an $80 item was reduced by 10%. First of all again we need to find 10% of the $80. Because 10 over 100 times the amount $80, which equals 80 over 100, sorry, 80 over 10 <laughs> equals $8. So the reduction is $8, but the decreased amount equals the original price minus the decrease. In this case it was originally $80 and the reduction was $8 giving a final answer of $72. Again another way to consider this problem is to multiply the amount by 90%. That is the 100% minus the discount. Here we did 100% plus the percentage increase. So 90 or $80 times 90 over 100 using some simplification. 8 times 9 we would get $72 which is the same answer. Suppose the cost of an item was originally $80 but now has decreased to $64. The decrease equals the original $80 minus the $64, being $16 decrease. 
this as a percentage we could take the decrease amount divide it by the original and times by 100% in this case 16 over the original $80 times 100% Using some simplification again, we have 160 over 8%, which equals 20% reduction. So calculating percentage increases and decreases, or finding the percentage increase or decrease.